guys, this is Anthony Tata, your local Orlando realtor, and today we are in Tavares in Avalon Park by DR Horton in this beautiful home that is called the Robbie. This is a five bedroom, three bath, two car, car garage home, and we have 2,447 square feet in this home at a price at time of video of $403,990. The community has a cabana and a pool as the amenities. The HOA is $52 a month only and no CDD with $8,000 towards closing costs. But if you need to know how those incentives are put towards your home, just give us a call at 407-790-0929 and we can explain that to you. But before we see the rest of this home and this community, just give us a like and subscribe down below because it truly does help our channel. And now let's go see the Robbie. Hey friends, so here we are at the Robbie. As you can see, love the exterior. Um, I love the glass door um, pane. Also, as you take notice, this would be your garage typically with your driveway coming out, right? And you can see you have two windows above. I love those little, um, like holding up the vents on the top. I don't know what they call it. Decorative? <laughs> yeah, the decorative. Um, but come follow me into the home as we're gonna show you this beautiful two-story home. All right guys, so as you can see, as we come into the home, you have your stairways to the left and we'll get to that in a minute when we go upstairs. But again, I love the glass pane door. I love this spot here. So if you wanna put your Amazon packages and you have plenty of space right here. As you can see, the hallways are wide enough, right? And let's do a switcheroo. That's <laughs> right. Again, even with the pony wall, you can do like lots, like you can have lots of space in the hallway. Again, this, like you can later on change this to spindles and wrought iron if you choose to. I think that's a nice upgrade if you wanted to, just not with the builder. It comes as you see right now. Moving forward, we have your storage closet on the stairs, Harry Potter room, we like to call it. So pretty decent size. Yeah, I just like this entrance way. Yeah, it's nice. I like the way it's laid out. Also, you get the 17 by 17 tiles at base. Love that. I loved what they did with the design, really nice. And the archways, of course, that is usually included with these kind of builds. As you move forward, the home opens up into a open floor plan. And you can see you have two windows here for natural lighting, and then you have your pocket doors here. But I do like that the, you know, food area or the eating area here, it's the informal dining area, we like to call it. That'll be here. Then it moves over to your kitchen space with your island here. And I love the white cabinetry, 36 inch cabinets. You have your range top here and your stove and oven electric here. Now there is Formica in the community and you can always switch that out to granite later on, but you do have your stainless steel Whirlpool. Dishwasher here and the two sinks separated as well. Now you do have your refrigerator here, which is included with this home. And then you have your little coffee station and two more sets of cabinetry here, then leading into the pantry space. A walk-in pantry. Oh yeah. So it's not small. Nope. It's a good size for the home. Yeah, I just wanted to point out that the garage door. Yes, that little glass here. door. It's the model center right now, but this is where your garage will be. It's glass because it's decorative right now. Now you can have a glass door there if you want to, but you'll be seeing your cars. <laughs> so usually it's just a regular plain door, right? But I do love even the little cabinetry here. Very nice, very nice. Now we move over into the family gathering area. I like how it's squared off. They did a very nice job with the paint and the decorations in here, but it looks, look, it looks kind of, I like to call it schwancy, like swaggy, fancy, schwancy. <laughs> Very nice. But I do like how your pocket doors are right here, right off the family, of course, if I can get it open. <laughs> and then you have your pad here. Now, the great thing is that this is a 40 foot product. And what that says is that the, for the footprint is a little smaller, right? So you have a lot of yard space probably out to this tree and more is your yard space. So definitely space for a pool, playground for the kids, a barbecue area, whatever you need for this home, it's there. Also, I like the little coach light, little cute coach light, coach light right above the door. <laughs> <laughs> so you get some, 
at least some light out here, right? But it is it is a very nice size backyard. It is. Now you can so, do a lot with this backyard. Yeah. So okay. heading back in, guys. I'm gonna close this up for you. And we're gonna pass the kitchen area again. Now we get to this section of the home, and I'm gonna let Pam pass me, where we have a bath, full bath here on the side. It will be a full bath. This is where they put the bathtub. Right, in. they put the bathtub right again. So you have this bathroom here. Then you have a closet, which is for the linens. Or maybe toilet paper, you know. <laughs> and we have Mike here in the flex space. But it's also a bedroom. And why is it a bedroom? Well, because there's a closet right here. And then there's a window for natural lighting. And I do like that little notched out area where the cadenza is at because you can put shelves, you can put a TV stand, whatever you may need for this bedroom. If you wanted to keep it in an office, you could keep it the way it's set up, which I think looks nice. I like the mirror. Yeah. The mirror looks awesome. Yeah, it's like uh, Escher. Yeah. 3D. So guys, that is the downstairs part of this home. And then we're gonna go upstairs right now and see the rest of this home. It might surprise you, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we are at the upstairs area. And as soon as you come to the upstairs area, behind Pam, there's a window for natural lighting into this area. And there's your stairs on the bottom. But this is your small loft space, right? where we have, you know, enough space for a desk. But, yes, go ahead, Pam. The Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> She's always thinking about home, guys. <laughs> now, here, interesting part to hear is these walls in the interior of the home are non-load bearing. So what that means is you can literally, there's a bedroom behind there. You can knock this wall down later after you build a home, right, or take over the home. And there would be no issues. The floor is carpet to extend this loft. If you only needed four bedrooms and you wanted a big loft, it can be done. Just an idea, right? We're not gonna hit this room first. I wanna go down this hallway. So let's start here. Oh, and you got these rocker switches. They're awesome. They're big enough, you know, you can hit them with your elbow, right? <laughs> if you have laundry. And why I say that is, here is your domestic suite right here with the 17 by 17 tiles and the washer dryer hookup. It's Very nice. Large. Yeah, lots of space. Guys, as you come out of the domestic suite, we have your linen closet. It's a good size. Mm -hmm. Now moving forward into the back of this hallway. Now just keep in mind, if you knock this out, this whole part of the hallway goes away. It's a big loft space. So even though this is a hallway right now, if you decided to do that, go ahead, Pam. Yeah, you're gaining about 11 feet. Yeah, you gain 11 feet more Let's into see. that loft area, which makes it almost like a 15, 20 foot loft. That's amazing. So just, just you know, throwing ideas out there for you guys. But we're gonna follow this wall. This room, the one that you would knock out is as a nursery right now. So if you needed the worst nursery, it is awesome to have five bedrooms because now you have the nursery, right? You have your window for natural lighting, of course, but here is that half step in closet for this bedroom, right? Love the nursery. And as you can see, there's lots of room for furniture in here. You got a chair, cadenza, mirror, you have the uh, crib, lots of space here. And then again, if you ever need it in the future to knock that out, you have that space. Now the next bedroom, Again, another big bedroom. And where I'm standing, a window for natural lighting. Now, what I like about this model in particular is the windows start knee height. So again, a lot more window real estate, which is great. But then you have your closet here. Love that. They're deep half step in closets. It might be a full step in closet, not a half step. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, love the furniture in this room. Now let's go across the hallway. I like the idea what they did here. Yes. With the chairs, but you can also build a closet, another closet here, if you wanted to like even it off. Now, there's another bedroom here. Natural lighting again with this window. And you can tell that these beds are pretty big. 
lots of space in between the beds here. I'm not a small guy, so you can see. And our closet space right here. Again, the closets are big. Yes, they are. Love that. And again, this location is close to the new Avon Health. So there are plenty of amenities. Publix is like a minute away. Here's your full bath for these bathroom areas. I mean, for the bedroom areas. So you have your vanity, dual vanities, your cabinetry. You have your tub on the backside. Very nice. And I like these lights. Yep. If I and, can show them. And I, I don't know are. if you mentioned this, but the ceilings are not too crunched in. They're not like seven foot ceilings. They're like eight, eight and a half, nine feet. Very nice. And now, Let's move into the primary bedroom suite, which is right here off of the loft. And as soon as we come in, guys, look how big this bedroom is. It is massive. Two windows for natural lighting. And Pam's gonna show, go around and show you the walk-in closet that she is falling into. With the window. With the window. Very nice. I just want to show you one thing. Look how much space there's here and then look at that window and that, that nice stand. Look how much space on each side. So that, I mean, I know videos doesn't translate well sometimes, but you get a good sense of how much space there is in this primary bedroom suite. You even got a lounge chair here. Yeah, that's my chair. <laughs> I'm taking it home. As we enter the primary bedroom suite, guys, 17 by 17 tiles, again in the wet areas. You have your commode here, right? But behind this door, you also have a huge linen closet, yeah. right? If we spin around, we have the dual vanity with the white cabinetry continuing throughout the home, two sinks, large mirror, again, with those nice high hots right above the sinks which are more clean look instead of those lights hanging off the wall. And one more feature to show you, which is our shower. Here it is here. And guys, that is the home. I got a couple more details for you to give you. Give me two seconds and I'll get right with you. All right, guys. So things that are around this community and this neighborhood are things like a marina, seaplane base, and a water splash park, proximity to Lake Dora, Ustis, and the Harris Chain of Lakes for fishing, a short commute to downtown Mondora, easy access to the 441. It's an hour from Orlando. There are a lot of state parks, lakeside parks, um, nearby downtown Tavares with entertainment, um, full bars, restaurants, outdoor seating and music venues, and just some points about the homes themselves. They're all concrete block construction, stainless steel appliances come included. Both uh, homes have refrigerator, smart home packages, blinds, and LED throughout the home. And it has plenty of shopping, eateries, and a new brand new hospital down the road about a minute away. So if this community and this home makes sense for you and your family, give us a call at 407-790-0929. My name is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. Punch, hit that subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.